Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I am going to show you two simple but very useful options in Microsoft Project. Number one, how to move your project forward and backward. Number two, how to assign constraints to specific activities in your schedule in Microsoft Project. For the topic number one, as you can see, the project starts on 22nd May of 2022. But you want to move the whole project to another date. For example, let's assume 1st July 2022. To do that, you go to Project, Move Project, and from here, you assign a new project start date. Let's select the date from here. 1st July 2022. Click OK, and your whole project will move forward to 1st July. From the view, we'll click Entire Project in order we are able to see the whole project Gantt chart. The second thing is that in your project schedule there might be specific activities for which you have a deadline. They should not be completed any date later than that date. Or maybe some activities need to start at a specific date. To do that, you can click any activity. For example, let's select Design. Double-click Design and this screen will appear. From here, go to Advanced and there will be Deadline Constraint Type. For the deadline, we can set a deadline for this activity. For example, let's say it should not be completed any date later than 17th July. Once we click OK, as you can see, here a deadline will appear for this activity. So if the end date of this activity goes anywhere further than this date, the 17th July that we assigned, it will be shown as late activity. Moreover, if we go to the properties of the activity by double-clicking the activity, as you can see, there is something called constraint type. I will remove the deadline by pressing the delete key. In here, there are different types of constraints that you can set for your activity. As late as possible, which means that as late as you can, this activity will start. The next type of constraint is as soon as possible. This is usually used by Microsoft Project by default, which means that as soon as the predecessor activity is completed, the successor activity will begin. In addition, you can assign different types of constraints as well. For example, if I select the must finish on, and select a date for that, the activity must finish on that specific date. If the current date for the activity, the current completion date for the activity is 13th July 2022, but it must finish on, for example, let's make it 19th July. Click OK. The activity continue. Click OK. And as you can see, the activity will move forward. Because we told Microsoft Project that this specific activity sh must finish on 19 July. And besides that, a calendar icon will appear in here, which will show that there is a constraint set for this specific activity. I will go to view an entire project so that we can see the whole project. We will go further in Microsoft Project in our upcoming videos. In order to stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.